ask Muslims, what does your Allah look like? I don't know. Is it male? No. Is it female? No. But of neither sex, but that Allah has control on the women on how you dress. And you're because happy to follow that. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. the creator, that's yeah. why. But if that Allah doesn't sleep, doesn't yeah. eat, yeah. says he gives his food to Muslims so the Muslims don't starve, yeah. why is there so much famine in Muslim countries? Famine? Yeah. Some of the Muslim countries are the richest countries in the world. Okay, all right, let me move on. Going, going back no, but why do you want to move on now? You make a point. I'm trying to answer some, some, some of the Muslim countries are the most advanced country. Malaysia, where you come from, you're from Malaysia, right? Yeah. Do you think Malaysia is advanced? Not because of Muslims. Why? Because the Chinese okay. and Indians advancement. Hello! Advancement is attributed to something else. It cannot be Islamic. So what if, what, what, what when Muslims had the, the, the best civilization in the world for one, over a thousand years? Okay, and, all the scientists, and what all happened? the libraries, major libraries and major scientists, all the major poets, you know, intellectuals, you name it, they were in the Muslim world. Okay. Europeans were traveling to the Muslim lands to can learn I, from them. Can so, I, can so I answer? Can was, I answer? was that because of Islam or? Can I, can I answer? Yeah. 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 Uh, you're talking about the golden age of Islam. Yeah. So you Baghdad. know about it? Baghdad, yeah? yeah? So you know about it. Not only Baghdad, all over the Muslim world. No, 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 no. The, the golden yes, age, yeah. the academic learning was based around Baghdad, North Africa, Caliphate, Iberian Peninsula, yes. Andalus. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm glad you know about this. Yeah, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 758, yeah. no, sorry, 778 to 1258. Yeah. 500 years. And Baghdad was destroyed by? Mongols. Mongols. Who is yeah. Lokan? Yes. He came and burned the whole place down, killed yeah. everybody. Yeah. Since then, yes. all right? Yes. How long ago? Eight, 900 years ago. That was nearly 650, 650 years ago. No, no, no. 12, So it's 750, 750 years, almost. 800 years, I said. Almost 800 years, yeah. okay. Now, okay. In that 800 years, mm. Jews, Christians, everybody has overtaken Muslim countries. No. Okay. No. Okay, you just tell what you think. Okay. No, I, I will give you my evidences, no. my, my reasons yeah. as to why right. I believe. Yeah. You see, the Egyptian civilization was there long before Islam came. Yes, yeah? very advanced. The Persian civilization yes. was there long before Islam came. Yes, yeah? I agree. Yes. Khorasan, long before Islam came, they were yes. very advanced. Yes. India. India, yes. Was very advanced. Yes. All right? Byzantinian. Yes. The Levant. Yes. All these countries, the Islam from Hejab, Hejaz, was desert and Bedou tents. Yes. The only building that stood was in Najran, in Sanaa, in Aden. What is Aden, okay? I agree, These yes. These are all parts of Yemen. Yes. Ah. In the Saudi area, there was nothing. There was no Saudi area. Exactly. There was, That's there was, my point. Yes. So, you, so uh, I, do is, I agree. What is Islamic but the point, problem? The point you're making is now, something happened to the Arabs in the 7th century that changed them beyond recognition. Suddenly, these Bedouins, these very underdeveloped, semi-barbarized or semi-civilized tribes of Arabia, they got hold of something, and suddenly they became civilized, the most civilized people on, on the planet within a century. Something happened to them. Whether it was some injection, you know, have you seen the, the Incredible Hulk, the movie? Yeah, right? Something happens to the Hulk. Or Spider-Man runs into a cupboard and puts on his suit and he comes out and he's a superhero. And Superman, same thing, right? Something happened to these Arabs in the 7th century and within a century they were the masters of land from China to Spain. Uh, to Spain, the largest empire world had ever known. What happened is the question. And how did they come? And wait, wait, let me, no, 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 no. Yeah, you can, you can, you can ask. Yeah. What happened when these Arabs went as far as China and Spain? What happened? Uh, did they massacre the populations? It's a very good question. Did they exploit and plunder the resources like the Americans and the colonials, colonial powers did uh, in the past three they centuries? Did, they did. Uh, okay, let, let's talk about it. I'm, I'm, I'm raising the questions myself so that you can address them, right? Did they decimate churches? Yes. Okay, the, the oldest churches in the world are in the Muslim lands today, even today. We are in the year 2018, in the month of May 27th, right? The oldest churches in the world are still in the Muslim lands. And, and, and they are in Iraq, they are in Syria, they are after the war, of course, the war has devastated everything. And, yeah, and in Egypt, some of the oldest churches are in Egypt, Coptic churches. Yes, they are churches. To this day, they are churches, right? 
Okay, so, so, so my point is Muslims did not have this policy of persecution just because of religion. That's why the civilization of Islam lasted over a thousand years until the colonial powers came in. First the Mongols, the Mongols came in and they decimated the Islamic empire or the Muslim civilization in the east. Then came the colonial powers after that in the, in the, in the, in the 16th century when colonial powers from Europe, they, they, they got hungry, they got greedy. First they came out as merchants, they established the companies in India and in the Middle East and North Africa and slowly and steadily all of this land was occupied and plundered, literally plundered, including India and you will agree with me on that, on that point. Okay, what did the Muslims do to India? Now because, I mean, I, I, I don't have the time to talk about the whole world with the Muslims. What did the Muslims do to India? Is destroy, the question. They destroyed Hinduism. Okay. My, my, no, no. My friend claims they destroyed Hinduism and he is still alive. He's a Hindu and he's alive and he's standing in front of me talking to me. And not only him, not, not only him, not only him, there are hundreds of millions of Hindus still flourishing and there are temples they go to. They worship in these temples, temples that were governed by the Muslims for centuries, not only decades, for centuries. India was occupied by the Mughals, 95% of it. Only, uh, no, 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 only Aurangzeb, okay, had occupied. Did the Muslims go out on a, on a rampage, killing Hindus indiscriminately, or did they destroy? Can we come in? Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, so you can. Okay, um, this is my final point. Did the Muslims come in and they destroyed the masses? No. In okay. fact, okay. In, in fact, according to, I'm coming right, right now, finishing right now. According to some modern scholars, uh, people like Audrey Trush, um, and she has actually written, written a book on Aurangzeb. I, 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 I invite you to read that book. Audrey, Audrey, Audrey Trush, Aurangzeb. Have you read her book, Aurangzeb? Long time ago. No, no, no. It only came out in 2000. And, no, I, uh, I have read a book on Aurangzeb, but I can't. No, no, it. it's not. The one by Audrey Trush. It's the most recent book on Aurangzeb. Read it, and you will see all these accusations of temple desecrations yeah, are rejected by outrightly rejected by uh, academics. This is the rhetoric okay, okay. of right-wing xenophobic Hindu okay. government of India you must give us and, a now. and the right-wing xenophobic <laughs> groups such as Bajrang Dal and BJP, the governing party of India, is their rhetoric, yeah, right? Thank and he supports them. So he supports thank them. Thank you, thank you Those who are who are dividing India on ethnic and religious lines. Muslims never did that.